hello everybody welcome back so today we will talk about react js states and props in my previous video i have talked about react js components how you can create components so now we will talk about how can you play with data inside your component so now if i want to pass some data from my, my main component to my parent child component so how can i do that so if i want to pass data from my this component to the welcome component so i'm trying to pass data like this frugal is as a name to my child component and i want my child component to render this name so let's see how we can do this so for that you have to define a constructor which takes props as values method arguments and then you have to define the body and then tag in the super call the super props to get the props from the react component and then here you can use it using this dot props dot your property name my property name is name so what happens over here i have just passed the property name and have accessed it from a react component so now there are a couple of points to remember you cannot change your props and the props are always immutable if you want to change the props react will not support it it will always throw an error and second is you can see in your welcome component it's a component which takes some input and returns the same output if i talk 100 times if i pass frugalis as a use as a name then it will always return me hi frugalis so that is a quality of a pure function so your react components are now pure functions a pure component right and the data flow that happens in react is always from top to bottom sorry bottom so the top is your parent component and it always goes to a child component and then to its another child component like that it doesn't comes back you cannot come back in set the props in a parent component from your child component so that's one tricky part so you should always remember while you are doing development whereas there are other ways to do that that will not talk now but that's a hack as you see i cannot change the props so there must be some way to change data inside a component so that i can handle data manipulation inside my component so how can you do that so the concept of state came in the picture so what state says us says that i will be state will be changing their values you can change the state values on the basis of event click on any event triggering you can change the state values so let's see how you can do that so for that i will demonstrate a simple example that you might be familiar in angular so i'll be using the same example where i will have a input box and i will whatever i type in the input box it should be shown in a paragraph so yeah so let's get started now so in a state you have to initialize your state using this dot state and this should be a key value pair so let's say i am using text value as a key the data and its value should be something like empty as of now so i have initialized a prop uh, a state a state data known as text value that we will use so now once my user clicks on the sorry on change the event should be on change because once my user types in i want to show the values so i have to trigger a on change event and that should take the event as an argument and call some method so let's say my method is update ui and then i pass the event over here so let's go ahead and create the method update ui and then i create the method that method should take is a event as a argument right so 
where inv equals to e dot target dot value so I am trying to access the value as is a JavaScript event I can access the value using this and just print the cons and just console dot log that value fine so let's see how it works I don't think I have done any mistake I, I think so so let's go ahead and try it so let's type in okay I have done a mistake reference array update UI is not defined so I have to give a reference of this then it is defined it's in the current context yeah so now I am I'm able to track it so now what I will do is I will set the value whatever the user has typed in this dot and s before using this I have to set it in my state so just set this dot set state and then you use it as text value should be equals to inv right so this is my value that is there so now it is set in the state and I can access it using this dot state dot text value right and just print over there the same thing just copy and paste it that might be a copy paste error yeah mm, okay now paste it over here I'm using one hand because my microphone is not working properly so I have to hold it close mm, yeah I think so that's fine let's see what happens now so you can see over here whatever I type in it gets printed right so what happens here is actually if you go and see it in the UI you can see over here if I type see the UI gets changed if I type H the UI already gets changed so this is a virtual DOM you see the whole page doesn't get reloaded it's only the portion of the page that gets, gets updated is re-rendered and this happens because once you type in your state changes so once your state changes this render method gets called again and again because we have triggered a state change on update UI event so once this event is triggered our state changes and once your state changes your render gets recalled <laughs> always remember one thing this dot set state is always asynchronous there is the event queue that gets created and the state change gets applied so it enqueues the changes to the component state and tells react that this component and its children need to be re-rendered with the updated state this is a primary method you use to update the UI in response to event handlers and server responses think of set, in st uh, set state as a simple rest request and that doesn't gives you an immediate result react for some reason might delay it but it can update it as well so it doesn't guarantee that state changes are applied immediately it may be asynchronous so if you want to access the previous state how can you do that suppose let's say I have a counter over here I want to count the values so I want the value that was previously over there so that you can do using this dot set state and this set state takes in two parameters that is previous state and the props previous state and props right and then what happens is you return the updated data and that comes as a new state so I updated my data and then INV is sent so this also works fine so this is used in cases where you want to have a track of the data that was there in the previous state because react re-renders everything 
So before re-rendering what was the data that you want to see, you can use this method. So you can see the data gets changed, hence your state gets changed and your data gets updated and you can show the data over here. Right? So this is how a typical state works in React. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please go ahead like and subscribe it. Sorry for a long video, but please go ahead like and subscribe.